What is going on, party people? It's your boy, Uncle Jim. Thank you so much once again for joining me for another fantastic video. And the channel has grown a lot recently. I'm doing a giveaway right now for a Season 4 Battle Pass. If you guys are already subscribed, don't worry about it. You're already entered to win. But I'm doing it over on TikTok if you want to go follow me over there, too, just so you get all the information and stuff like that. But today, we are doing a SMG breakdown. Top 5 SMGs, just like the Assault Rifle video. I'm going to show you all my favorite SMGs and the attachments I have on them. So let's go. Alright, so just like the Assault Rifle video, this isn't in any kind of particular order, but at number one we have the AUG. The AUG is a super interesting weapon because it was super popular when the game first released, and it's kind of fallen off since, but it's still very, very good, still very, very viable. The AUG has that 5.56 conversion kit, so for Warzone you get Assault Rifle damage with that SMG ammo type. You also can use the close quarters battle stock for a little bit of mobility. You can use the tack laser, the 407 millimeter extended barrel, and the monolith suppressor. That's what I have on my build. It makes it super accurate. It kind of transforms it into an assault rifle of sorts, but it's a whole lot of fun to use, and it kills pretty quick. Despite being one of the least used SMGs in Warzone, it does still put people down fairly quickly. And for multiplayer, like I said, it's still one of the top couple of SMGs. So number one is the AUG. Number two is a relatively new challenger for me. This is the Bison. I've seen it used by more YouTubers and stuff recently, and it's getting more usage out in pubs. I see it more frequently, but my attachments are the no stock, the tack laser, the 8.7 inch steel barrel, the monolith suppressor, and of course some rubberized grip tape. I'm not super sure if this is going to be my final build for the Bison, but this is what I'm running on it right now. Super reliable, very quick. Uh, great gun all around so go ahead and try this one out make sure that you use these attachments and kind of customize it yourself because there is more to learn about this gun before it's kind of set in stone so yeah number two buys on Number three is the P90. The P90 has a deep, deep place in my heart. It's probably my most used SMG, but that's kind of changed recently. Uh, however, it's still a really reliable gun. It still does pretty good damage, still has pretty good accuracy, and my build goes something like this. Monolith suppressor, four tack retribution barrel, tack laser, CQB compound stock, and rubberized grip tape on the back grip. This is going to give you a lot more accuracy. You're going to hit more targets. And the P90 is already super accurate, so this is going to be a laser. It doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but if you're accurate, you hit your headshots, it's still going to do just as well as the MP7 or the MP5. I love this P90 build. Go ahead, try it out. At number four is probably the most used SMG in Warzone, and that is the MP7. The MP7 is super accurate. It hits shots super far away. It almost has no bullet drop-off if you have the right loadout. So mine goes like this. Monolith suppressor, recon barrel, no stock, 60 round mags, Merc foregrip. The reason I have mine built like this is because it's what everybody else uses. The MP7's kind of been figured out, so I won't go too far into it, but this is the MP7 loadout you should be using if you're going to be using an MP7 at all. That's number four. At number five, we have my personal favorite SMG, which is the MP5. The MP5 is the best overkill secondary in Warzone right now. It's just so dominant. It does so much damage up close, has the highest DPS in class. I love this thing. On mine, I have the monolithic suppressor integral barrel, the tack laser, the collapsible stock, the Merc foregrip, and the 40 round magazine. The reason I run mine like this, guys, is because I want to treat this like an MP7 with recoil control, but with way, way, way more damage. And that's why I run it like this. I don't want to slow it down too much. I want to keep it light, keep it moving. But this thing still packs a huge punch and is still super super accurate. I love it. Try this one out. Make it your secondary for Warzone. Make it your multiplayer class. I don't care. It's super good and it'll hold up for you. I promise. And that is my top five SMG loadout guide. If you guys liked the video, as always, please click subscribe. Don't forget to like the video, ring the notification bell, all that fun stuff. Follow me over on Twitch. That's Real Uncle Jim on Twitch. And I'm Uncle Jim YT over on TikTok, where a lot of my content goes up early. Make sure you guys are following me on all of those because I love you. Trying to grow the community. Let's be the biggest community going into Black Ops 5. Because like I said, we're taking over the whole world. And I want people to know just who has the best community in Call of Duty. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.